podcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Uh, continuing on with Before You Buy with Radford Castro, Director of Engineering. We give him all the latest and greatest PCs. You've had some good things to say about the latest Dells, but this one is not a laptop. It's a tablet. Yes. The Venue Pro. We've seen the 8-inch. This is the 11. Right. Yes. Well, it's more 10.6 inches. 10.6. Okay. Yeah. They well, call it 11. Yeah, they call it 11. Making it easier, right? So this is actually an HD screen. It's full 1080p. It's 1920 by 1080 by using IPS. Um, it's using Intel Core. And I'll just gonna try to knock out the specs right over we here. Should, we should mention, this is not an RT tablet. This, yes, is, this full is full Windows, Windows. 8.1 yeah, Pro. That's a really big difference right mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. So You uh, can't tell just by looking at it. Nope, not until you actually start playing with the desktop and install some legacy stuff. So that's where it really starts to, you start thinking about what, what works for you right. with this. This can so, run all Windows software. Yeah, well, and that's because it's an Intel processor, yes, not an ARM processor. Right. What did they put in this one? So this one, they have uh, the Intel Atom running at 1.46 gigahertz. Two gigabytes of RAM. You have about 10 point touch using a pen, so it's pen enabled. Then you have a dual band Wi Fi and you have your cool webcam. And yeah, I actually have eight megapixels in the back, so that's kind of cool. 10 point touch means you can use all 10 fingers. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of like the iPad in that yep. respect. Mm -hmm. uh, and you find it pretty responsive. I mean, I'm it's intrigued in the, on that Atom processor. It's pretty yes. good. So, which is really interesting. Uh, back in the days, I reviewed the Envy, which it also used the Atom, and it wasn't that strong then. But for right. some reason, just playing this tablet by itself. I'm just going to run a couple of things here. Here's Look at those things are all running in the background. Yeah, wow. they're all running stuff in the background, and it's extremely responsive. And remember, this is all full HD, so it's pushing pixels really well. I forgot to mention, too, that this is running Gen, Gen 7 Intel graphics, so that's something that helps a lot in terms so, of pushing pixels. All right. So, so. this must be a Haswell. Is, is there such a thing as a Haswell atom? No, it's just it's atom. Not, just atom. Yeah. All right. So, but, I mean, it's, it's, it's low power, and that's another thing that's a good point, mm -hmm. too, is that the battery life is just incredible on this thing. This How thing much? lasted me for a week on standby. <laughs> a I mean, week. Wait, yeah, and but you, well, usage is about eight to nine hours, maybe That's about twelve at the most. That's very Running, good. you know, stuff in the background, including games, which was very surprising. So now it doesn't come with a keyboard. It's really tablet focused. Yes, yes. But can you get a keyboard? I guess yes, you, you could can. Use it. Okay. Yeah, it's like one fifty nine, right. and it has its own battery. It increases the life of the battery up to fifteen hours. So That's great. Ridiculous. That's yeah. a new thing people are doing with these click-on keyboards is adding batteries yes. to the keyboard itself. Yeah. gives you more juice. Mm -hmm. And it has the mouse, of course, so it has the trackpad similar to its competing stuff like the... But, I mean, I can do all the normal stuff you could expect to do on Office. This Seems pretty Windows. snappy. Yeah. You know what amazes me? Windows didn't used to run well in uh, 2 gigs of RAM. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but none does. of these tablets, yeah, have more than two gigs. This, this, that's pretty standard for a yeah. tablet. You find two gigs is plenty, even for multiple things in the background. Well, if I'm running stuff like Photoshop, which I've tried, it still chugs, right? You know, okay. You know, things like that. Anything with big dream. files yeah, are not going to do well. If you're right. running some heavy-duty enterprise stuff, then definitely. It's not like you're running SQL Server on this right. thing. So. But, but Windows 8 is tuned uh, uh, in the tablet mode to... Uh, be smart with memory, be smart with processors, even if something, like you see all those things in the background, mm -hmm. none of them are actually using, in most cases, any CPU. Right, it just stays frozen in memory. Yeah, yeah. And when you're just or even through, Yeah, even memory, they'll unload it if they need it. Pretty much. Like, yeah. you know, when we, we're swapping between, you know, the when we're multitasking, we always see it in, in frozen time, basically almost like a screenshot of what we're seeing. And it just refreshes every time we're going back and forth. But the cool thing that is that is it's very, very responsive. Even with just two gigabytes of RAM, oh, two gigabytes of RAM. So um, this particular model has 32 gigabytes um, of storage. Of storage. Right. And can you add an SD card? Yes, you can. Micro okay. SD. Okay. And up to 64 gigabytes. And it also has USB 3.0, all, all the normal stuff you'd expect to have. It has HDMI out too, so that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, and the the question I've always asked myself is: Is this a suitable replace re suitable replacement for my laptop? And Actually, kind of yes. Really? You know, for about 80% really? of the apps that I've been running, it does. So um, then I, I try to do things like this, like run some games in the background. They're not going to do well. I mean, it's not going to do Forza? that well. Uh, this is actually Asphalt 8. Okay. And this is just obviously, you know, uh, 3D running in the background. Well, you could see the hesitation. Yeah, you could see the frame the rate drop. Yeah. yeah. And this is just not even running a race at the moment. So yeah. you could see that. The Atom and the Gen 7 don't work well together in terms of these type of games. This would be good for email, web surfing, not mm -hmm. great for gaming, no. basic productivity apps, yes. that kind yes. of thing. So, um, How about Skype? Does that work pretty well? Skype works, works excellent. And okay. just, to, you know, since we're talking about Skype, 
Uh, it uses the video camera. Here's a little bit of what we're looking at through the 8 megapixel camera. I thought it was white noise. It's our carpet. Yeah, it's the carpet. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's not bad. I mean, um, the lens is, is, is not too bad. So it gives you an indication of what the photo looks like as well. So I'll show you what that looks like in a bit. But maybe I'll just take a skip on that. This is, not, this much, is not bad. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. So uh, pros and cons. The pros is that, um, let me just look at my cheat sheet because I just suck at this. Uh, it's versatile, and right. the big thing is that it runs full Windows. Right. Um, and then the price. The price is the big piece right now. This thing comes at $4.99. Right. Same as, a, uh, as an iPad. Yeah. And, this and is, that's Wi-Fi only. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this tops off at $9.99, so you have different configurations to work for this. It's no accident that it's $4.99. I think they really are saying, look, you could have an iPad with right. iOS. It's, it's, ta it's a tablet only. Mm -hmm. Or you can have a real desktop operating system mm -hmm. on your same price. Yes, yeah. yes. That almost speaks to the alt RT stuff because everyone's been kind of thinking RT or desktop, right. but this thing is its huge to be able to have some sort of desktop power in this kind of price. Does this come with Office or do you have to buy it? It at? does. It, it does? does. Come with Office, yes. Wow. So it's huge. Um, the other thing, too, is that um, it just has really good battery life. And for that, I mean, just without the keyboard or anything, it's about 9 to 10 hours, 8 to 10 hours. Even with stuff running in the background, playing games and browsing the web. Uh, I even did some benchmarks if uh, Brian uh, could show some of that stuff right there. It's actually really cool. So here's some stuff running on 3D Mark, and it runs well above the category average within this cl class range. So it's it is even cool. beating the Surface 2, which yeah. is pretty good. Which is pretty good. awesome. Yeah. You know, and the Surface 2, mind you, it's running RT, right? I mean, we're running... It's, it's oh, a, that's not the Surface Pro. That's the Surface 2. Yes, okay. Yeah. All right. Wow. So, I mean, faster the than the iPad, faster yeah. than the Surface? Yeah. That's nice. And the battery, too, is very competitive in that level, too. There's so. got to be some negatives. Yes. Uh, negative is that it's a fingerprint magnet, and it generates a lot of nice heat. You can literally cook <laughs> your eggs on this. It's thing. a hot fingerprint magnet. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's a hot fingerprint thing. And it also has some weak brightness to it, so... Um, it's not very bright, you think? It's not. It's, this is actually pretty maxed out. And well, we've, we're sitting in bright studio lights, and yeah. it still looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty yeah. good, but in comparison to some of the tablets I've seen, okay. and some of the reviews I've been reading about other people complaining about the brightness over time, so that's How it. do you feel about, we looked at the Lenovo Mix, which was an 8-inch tablet last week. 8-inch mm -hmm. versus 10.6 inches. It's not that much of a difference. I think okay. really the, what will really matter is the experience of those apps. Right. What do they look like between those resolutions? Right. So the resolution is the big difference. This is full yeah. HD. This is full HD, 1920, yeah. Yeah. on an IPS screen. So that's really, really nice. All right, buy, try, don't buy. You know, for this price, it's an absolute buy. 500 bucks. Yeah. For the Dell Venue 11 Pro, we really like the Venue 8 as well. They've done some good stuff, haven't yeah. they?